Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing properties of eigenvalues, eigenvectors and example number 2 on it. Friends, in the last example we discussed number 1, number 2 property that is sum of eigenvalues is equal to sum of diagonal elements and product of eigenvalues is equal to determinant. Now let's have a look on this particular problem. Here we need to find eigenvalues of this particular equation. Friends, there is property number 3. Do you remember that property? And the property says eigenvalues of triangular matrices are same as their diagonal elements. First of all, check whether this matrix is triangular or not. Triangular means two types, upper triangular or lower triangular. So see here, below this diagonal, everything is zero. So therefore, this matrix is upper triangular matrix. And since the matrix is upper triangular matrix, what are the eigenvalues of the matrix? It's same as their diagonal elements. So what are the eigenvalues? 1, 3 and minus 2. So you can use this property directly. So friends, you might be thinking why we didn't use till now. If you observe the problems that we solved till now, we never get case like this. We never got case like this upper or lower triangular matrix we never got it but whenever you get the question first of all check whether the matrix is triangular matrix or not if it is not triangular matrix you can go ahead with the normal procedure and if it is triangular you can directly write it down its eigenvalues are same as their diagonal elements since matrix is upper triangular therefore eigenvalues are same as their diagonal elements that means 1 comma 3 comma minus 2. Now my aim is to get the eigenvalues of a square plus 2a plus i minus 6a inverse. It is not asked to find the eigenvalue of a, it is asked to find the eigenvalues of a square plus 2a plus i minus 6a inverse. So let's check we have three different eigenvalues 1 then we do have 3 and then we do have minus 2 lambda is equal to 1 is the eigenvalue of a so what is the eigenvalue of a square lambda square lambda square means 1 square plus 2 a eigenvalue is 1 plus i as discussed in the table identity matrix eigenvalue is 1 minus 6 a inverse 1 inverse so this is the value corresponding to lambda equal to 1 if you put lambda equal to 3 lambda is the eigenvalue of a we do have a square so that is 3 square 2 into 3 i is again 1 minus 6 a inverse that means 3 inverse 3 inverse means 1 upon 3 and if you put lambda equal to minus 2 so minus 2 square 2 into minus 2 plus 1 minus 6 into minus 2. If you solve this, you will get minus 2, 14 and 4. So these are the eigenvalues for lambda equal to 1, lambda equal to 3 and lambda equal to minus 2. So what student generally does is they will try to find it out this matrix. How? They will put in the cal C A and you'll get, they will get A square, then 2A, then plus I, minus 6A inverse. They will manually work out and will they will try to get a matrix and then try to find it out the eigenvalues. But no, we just need to find it out. We need to use the properties of eigenvalues. So these are the properties of eigenvalues. Let me take one more example here just to eliminate, uh, just to elaborate more on this concept. A is equal to I am using the first matrix that we used while solving the problems that is 3, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 5, minus 1, 1, minus 1 and 3. This is the first example of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Suppose my question is to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of A cube. Suppose my problem is or question is it is asked to check eigenvalues and eigenvectors of A cube. So what student generally does is they find it out its cube. A cube obviously you can get it calci. But friends, A cube will be very big matrix. 
very uh, big numbers you can say in a matrix so what you can do is first of all find its eigen values that is lambda equal to 2 3 6 we have already solved this so these are the eigen values of a what is asked to find the eigen values of eigen values and eigen vectors of a cube so what are the eigen values of a cube that is 2 cube 3 cube and 6 cube 8 27 and 216 so these are the eigen values so what you need to do first of all find the eigen values of a and use the property an eigen vector if you remember lambda equal to 2 we do have minus 1 0 1 for lambda equal to 3 that is 1 1 1 you can check that and for lambda is equal to 6 it is 1 minus 2 and 1 now these are the eigen vectors of a and in the problem it is asked to find eigen vectors of a cube so as discussed eigen values will be different but eigen vector of a and any function of a are same so we need to find eigen vectors of a cube so they will be same as eigen vectors of a so these vectors will remain same for a cube also so eigen values will change but eigen vectors will remain same hope this is clear thank you